Well, good morning folks and welcome to another episode of Mountains Peak. We're here in Lust today, getting eaten alive by the midges that are in full swing this morning. So uh, I'm going to make this brief. Hope you enjoy the video guys. Come. Good girl, good girl. Right folks, so as I said, we're in Lus and we're going to be tackling Vendiv and the Glenstrudel Horseshoe. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, you know me. Um, so this is out of Glen Lus and we're heading up uh, just on the other side of the 82 um, to tackle this one. This is a Graham, not a Monroe this morning and we've got Luna, I don't know if you can see her in frame, and Ryan is just over there, RJ. He's sorting his, uh, his bag out just now. So we're going to be heading on pretty quick, trying to get away from these midges. And hopefully we, uh, we have a good day for it. It's nice and warm. That's a good start. Um, but the cloud's quite low. I know it's been lowing in the distance. He's got a bit of cloud, but it always has. So we're going to get cracking anyway. Always enjoy the video, guys. Speak to you soon. Folks, that's us across the, the 82, as you know, and we're just heading up this farm access road at the moment. We follow this for quite a, quite a while and cross a stream, and after we've crossed that stream, or burn, we start heading up the hill. So yeah, nice easy walk in, hopefully. The midges are well out in force today, but we are in the trees, so it doesn't help. Hopefully when we get out of the trees, it'll be a little bit easier. So, RJ's loving it already. Yeah, big thumbs up. Look how long that'll last. Um, Luna's just having a great time. But we're just keeping an eye because we're on the road and it's fenced off just now. Quite happy for her to be off the lead, but there's a couple of farms here, so we do need to watch. The views are starting to open up into what I would assume is Glen Lass. Um, outstanding. Look at that big valley up there. Yeah, so lovely so far. And this is a, the last training hike prior to doing our 10 mountains challenge a week today. Uh, so I've weighed the bag down a bit with some extra stuff and uh, hopefully that'll help. Already. We are getting some height, so we're currently at 64 metres, so we are getting a little bit of height on this road, which is good. Yeah. Luna, come! Good girl! She's listening well. It's an open fence again, <laughs> just after I said the place is fenced off. And she's in So I better go just now. Look at that. Wow. Standing. You can just see Loch Lomond behind us there. So maybe we'll get to see that further up. But as of for now, sticking to the farm road until we get to the burn. We'll see where we are from there. Speak in a bit. Hey guys, uh, I get this here. I am going on a, a walk up uh, um, Bendiv. Yeah, Bendiv. It's uh, 700, it's in the 700 meters and it's a Graham. So, doing that today, we've got Luna and Mountain Speakwear. Say hello. Don't be shy. Hi, so, um, we're gonna. We're gonna go up and I'll probably meet you at our next stop. So, I will see you then. Thank you. 
Alright folks, this is us at the, the end of the road, we're turning off the road. You turn at the boot. <laughs> um, so that's a good uh, a good indicator for you to take a turn. Um, yeah, it's quite warm and the midges are out in force, as I'd said. Um, so yeah, we're not going to stop too long, we're just trying to keep moving to get out of the, the forestry area. Um, we're just about to head into Glen Striddle now. And I think this is called Midhill first that you go up. Uh, you go round the horseshoe and then you get Ben Div on the way back. Um, Ryan's been great so far, he's loving it. Um, Luna, she's been pretty good too, but we do need to watch. Uh, there is a lot of sheep uh, wandering about um, and there's no, no real fenced off area for them. So it looks like a, some sort of hill farm or something. So um, keeping a very close eye on Luna. I think she'll be on the lead for the majority of the walk now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get a wee drink here, sort ourselves out and then and go for it. Hopefully we should be up the top within the next hour. This has been walking for about an hour, about 4k. Nice leisurely walking. Just starting to see the inches over at Loch Lomond too, um, which is nice. But the area is stunning. I didn't even know this place existed, I'll be honest. I used to drive the 82 and just keep going. You never really thought much about what was on on your left, you know, what you couldn't see up behind the, in, behind the trees and stuff. So definitely worth popping around here if it's a, if it's a decent day anyway, that's for sure. So yeah, we're going to get cracking. Hopefully you've enjoyed it so far. Um, and uh, we'll start to get the views coming in now as we're gaining a lot more height. I can see the track up ahead, it's quite grassy looking. So, But yeah, we'll get cracking and we'll see you further up the hill. this way to keep the sun out of your eyes. Uh, well, a wee bit of sweat on, it's warm today as you know. And we've started the ascent up the grass slope. Um, it's not too bad, it's fairly well worn out. Luna's following it quite fine. Um, and as you probably just saw, we just did a style to, to negotiate, but I didn't have a doggy door, so yeah, balloon on my shoulder. Ryan's struggling a wee bit with the, the incline. I tend to find that kids seem to be pretty decent and fit when it comes to flat level stuff, but an incline changes things quite considerably for children. Um, so hopefully once we get to the top of this one, it's a more level walk around on the ridge, which should be better. But the views over to Loch Lomond and beyond are outstanding. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, all the inches of Loch Lomond. Stunning, and as far as I know, this down here is Glen Luss. That's uh, tracking from your left to right, and then coming from the top kind of corner of the screen down to your left now should be Glen Striddle, I think. Not 100% sure. So, so far, the terrain's been pretty good. It's dry though, so um, pretty decent ascent now. I'm going to push on and get a wee chat to you further, further on near the top and hopefully we're, uh, we're up on the ridge. <laughs> oh, I need to get my fitness back. Right, I'll speak to you soon.
Honestly, I thought you'd I'll bring you back just now because that's just come into view. I'm not sure if you can quite tell the kind of jagged looking mountain in the distance, that's the cobbler. I'm just going to put you in front just now while I talk. So you've got the cobbler, I'll try and highlight that on screen just now. And then in the clouds behind that to the right is Ben Eme. In front of Ben Eme to the right is Ben Nernain. And then the sunny bowl is Aqua. One of my first vlogs I did, I walked in between that and Ben Volick, which you can see in the clouds in the distance. Again, I've never seen all this stuff from this angle before, so it's quite cool to see it. So that's us up the top of the mid hill. We've made up high five, buddy. Made up the top of uh, mid hill 657. Uh, yeah, that's uh, two and a half hours, so decent walk up. Um, this, the wind's really kicked up, it's coming from the north. As I said previously, you can see the cobbler. Oh, I just spotted the sheep. So as I was saying before Luna so rudely interrupted us, um, as mentioned previously, the cobbler and uh, Arica Alps and, and so on are, are over there. So just in front of the cobbler is Loch Long, um, which leads down to Tarbot down the bottom where Loch Long and uh, Loch Lomond kind of meet together. It's a small strip of land between the two. Um, but yeah, what a view from up here. We can see way over to the north, you can see uh, Bridge of Orca Hills and right in the distance you can see Ben Nevis. Way up there in the clouds. See it? Yep. Oh, that one. Way up there. It's really far away. <laughs> well, you can see all the hills in the distance. It's fantastic. Some of them have still got cloud around the tops. But um, yeah, we're just going to work our way down through this. It's quite a white, a broad ridge over the horseshoe and uh, over to Ben Dev over in the distance here. You can just see Loch Lomond down there. Fantastic viewpoint, even right into Glasgow and the Clyde down there as well. Hopefully, you can hear me in this wind. So we're going to push down, get off the hill, get, try and get in the shelter of the wind and get some lunch and then we'll do the ridge. Hopefully the wind dies down a bit and get some drone footage, eh? Yeah, Ryan's loving it. So we'll crack on, 657 metres, done. We'll see how Luna does with the sheep. <laughs> right, we'll see you in a wee bit. Take it easy. Okay hey folks, we've just made the top and uh, that's it just behind us, just giving that, that, that lady a little bit of space um, just to tidy up. But yeah, that was, that was a good walk round actually. Um, enjoyed it so far. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite good terrain and uh, it's a nice walk. Once you get up, that first walk in up the, the first hill, that middle hill or mid hill, um, it's quite quite lengthy. Um, but it's not terrible um, and I'm hoping that it should be nice and quick coming down off of Bendiv here, um, back down to the, the bridge at the 82 that we came over originally. So the views are stunning, if I spin you around, sorry for the spinning, look at that, wow, beautiful. So that's all the inches, all the islands on Loch Lomond. And then looking that direction south, that's the Clyde right in the distance there, the River Clyde. So you can almost see home, almost see home. So yeah, I'm going to do a wee bit of drone flying and uh, see if we can get some good footage. Uh, and yeah, we'll speak to you a wee bit further on, but it's been a good walk so far, enjoyed it. Met a lot of nice people coming up as well. Um, it's been really good, really good, enjoyed it. So, I'll speak to you a bit further on now. Okay folks, that's us uh, 
It's just off the summit, we've lost about 100 metres or so, so far. And just heading down Ben Duff. It's been an enjoyable walk so far, hasn't it, Ryan? Yes. Yes, he's actually enjoyed it, yes! <laughs> so, sun's out, we're having fun. Luna's loving it. So, yeah, we managed to get a bit of drone footage as well. Hopefully you, you've seen some of that. Really, really nice area. So we're going to get down, uh, back to the car as quick as, as quick as we can now, try and beat the, the rush hour traffic. Um, so I'm going to speak to you a bit further on and give you a wee debrief, let you know how it's been. Okay folks, that's us just about at the end of this walk, uh, it's been a really nice one uh, so far, I think Luna and uh, Ryan have actually quite enjoyed it. Um, coming off of there, it's quite steep, quite sore on the toes, but it's nothing unusual for a hill walk I suppose. But it's, it's been gorgeous, the sun's back out, the, the loch's looking absolutely fantastic and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting down and getting an ice cream down in Luss, down in Luss village, so that should be really nice. Uh, so yeah, we're less than half an hour away now, so we'll just cut, cut things here. But yeah, as a as a whole, as a walk, um, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's, it's, it kind of has a, a wee bit of evidence, a bit of bog as well. Um, some some rocky sections, uh, road, road walking too. Um, so it's it's pretty much got something for everybody, I think. And it's a nice easy one to kind of bring you back into the hill walking side of things. So yeah, definitely get yourselves up here, and you get to see a view of Loch Lomond that you don't normally see. You're normally looking at, at it from the other side. So it's lovely to see Ben Lomond, Conic Hill over in the distance there. Um, even looking back towards uh, the camp seas and the Wangi um, over there, which is uh, so, some good walks to go and see as well. But so far, yeah, we've really enjoyed it and we'll get a good workout in. I'm just about 12 kilometres now, so definitely a good walk. So, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it too. And uh, next week, please look out for that will be our Marmoles Challenge video. That will be coming out next time. Um, hopefully we'll get that edited quick enough to get it out the week after this. Um, if not, it'll be the following week, obviously. So yeah, don't forget to uh, to go on to Just Giving and, and, and give us a wee donation if you can, if you can afford that. It'd be really, really helpful. We're raising money for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and the Renfrew Victoria Youth Football Club. So far, I think we've raised about £2,200, which is unbelievably good. We are so happy with that. It's way beyond our expectations. So we thank you again for that. Brad, uh, he's busy just now, but he'll be with me next time and that'll be the big one, so please look out for that. But until then, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next walk, guys. Bye.